So on this end, a testicle is when the testicles don't drop properly from the abdominal region down to the scrotal sac. Under normal condition, the testicle should settle down in the scrotal sac by the time the baby is born. Most babies, the testicle should be in the scrotal sac by the time they're born. Occasionally, the testicle can get stuck in the abdomen or in the groin region. Undescended testicles are actually quite common. As a pediatric urologist, this is a condition that we see quite frequently. Most babies don't have any symptoms other than when the pediatrician do their wow baby checks, they notice that the scrotal sac is empty. In school-aged children, occasionally they'll complain of discomfort or pain. In young adults, a lot of times these teenage boys will notice that something is missing. Anytime your pediatrician notices that something is not developed correctly, you should be seen by a pediatric urologist. Our job is to educate and also do a good GU exam of that area and counseling. There's a chance that if the testicles don't drop properly by the time the babies are 12 months old, they might need a minor surgery to bring the testicle down. So there's really no good cost or risk factors for a testicle not to drop properly. Yeah. So some of the complications that can come with a testicle that doesn't drop properly include fertility issues down the line or hormonal issues once a boy becomes a teenager. If a testicle doesn't drop properly by the time the baby is 10 to 12 months old, the baby might need a minor surgery to bring the testicle down. This is a quick in and out surgery. You go home on the same day, the baby will have a small incision in the groin region that cosmetically it heals really well. And by the time they're teenagers, you won't even see the scar. It's very good. The fertility rate, hormonal status is exactly the same as boys who have both testicles in a scrotal sac.